Meet Quentin. He is a 10-hour student pilot and has arrived at South Lakeland Airport for wing assembly and wing attachment to an Air Creation Twin 503 aircraft body carriage. I will assist in the assembly and inspection of the wing, then further assist in the preparation of the carriage for an annual inspection and its first flight. The goal is to get the trike airworthy and complete Quinton's flight training. After unzipping the bag, the triangular control frame is assembled and the wing is flipped over to rest upon the control frame. The folded wing is about 18 feet long and is easily transported over the road in its tubular wing bag. Unfolded, the wingspan is 33 feet wide and this particular wing has a wing area of roughly 160 square feet or 17 and a half meters. The front stay is attached and the wing is spread out. This single surface wing, by its nature of design, is very easy to inspect every nook and cranny and nut and bolt and tube and fabric and wire and all attachment points. This is an older wing and still sports a king post. The king post supports the wires that hold the wing up while it's not in flight. Otherwise, the wing would collapse on the ground without an airflow to support it. Newer wings are strut braced, have less drag, and reduce the aircraft's height by three and a half feet. Nevertheless, this wing will do superbly, although the aircraft will have to be kneeled before it will slide into the 9-foot, 4-inch tall hangar door. Fourteen battens are inserted into the wing to create the camber necessary for generating lift. They are sorted by length and are color-coded for either a port or starboard of the wing. Insertion is straightforward, but tensioning the battens can be a challenge. The biggest challenge of the day was the attachment of the backstay. The wing is tight as a drum and the backhaul was a bear to secure. The procedure took both of us, one to muscle the connection in place and the other to push the pin through the connection. Nevertheless, the fabric is delightfully taunt like a drum. During the prolonged close wing inspection and assembly, the battery in the action camera gave out. Alas, there is no footage of the aircraft standing tall and standing proud. The only video is taken after kneeling the trike and rolling it into the hangar. That was enough work this morning. Next time the carriage will get the attention and be prepared for its annual airworthiness inspection by a licensed airframe and power plant mechanic. See you next time.